Getting some insight and opinion from Soraya Sepapur Ulrich, a researcher and writer. Thank you for joining us. So Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu accused Iran barely an hour after the attack, even before his own intelligence officials commented, saying that all signs are pointing to Iran. Uh, what signs do you think he's referring to? Um, hi, I don't believe there are any signs at all, and it can be expected for Netanyahu to point the finger at Iran. Um, there, Netanyahu and Israel, in fact, need to play the victim card in order to be more aggressive. And in the past few months, few years, Israel has lost a lot of support, even here in the United States. Um, the Americans have always sympathized with the state of Israel, the fate of the Jews in the past, and even American Jews who do relate to their home country of Israel are beginning to pull back, and um, they don't like what's going on in Israel under this president and so prime minister, excuse me. And so um, the victim card plays very well into what Israel has planned. But Israel is the victim in this case. Something happened. Somebody bombed those buses. Do you think there is legitimate concern that uh, it could be Iran or who else do you think could be possible suspects here? I think that uh, many of your viewers would know that Israel excels at false flag operations. And in fact, in 2004, the New Zealand Herald revealed how Israelis tried to steal New Zealand passports in order to carry out assassinations. And they had stolen Canadian passports to, to kill a Jordanian political elite. But if one were to assume for a moment that um, Israel would never kill its own by carrying out a false flag operation as such, you only have to go back to the 1976 Antebi rescue mission. Um, in 2007, I believe, the UK revealed some uh, files from its archives, secret files, which actually claimed that Israel was behind the hostage crisis um, in Antebi, Uganda. And in fact, one of the Israelis that was killed in that incident, out of some irony, was Mr. Netanyahu's brother. So Israel is capable of doing whatever it needs to do to promote its own agenda. I can't say for certainty that Israel was behind this and it was a false flag, but I only look at who gains by this operation, judging from their past behaviors. And it, to me, it doesn't make sense that Iran would want to carry out this operation. So it makes more sense to you that Israel would kill its own people? That's what absolutely. You're saying? Yeah, absolutely. It would carry out a false flag against its own people. As I said, if you look at Antebi in Uganda in 1976, many Israelis were killed. There were Israeli victims in that um, set up in that uh, false flag. All right, we, we, have to, we have to move on here. How, how far do you think might such ac accusations against uh, Iran's possible involvement in this already aggravate a tense situation between the two countries? I think it depends on how much sympathy Israel can um, get for, for what's happened and uh, how it presents the argument. Um, so, you know, like it, it, it actually happened on the anniversary, 18 years after the Argentina bombings for which Iran um, was blamed. Whereas, in fact, very shortly after that bombing in July, um, there were opinions out and, and analysis that the, um, for a year or two, there was some investigation going on in the building uh, which proved that after World War II, um, Argentine officials were co uh, collaborating, bringing in the Nazis from Germany. And so the, it's, it was speculated that they were going to reveal those files when the building was bombed. So it's very possible that the bombing of the building was done by Argentina itself, Argentina itself. So it's, it, it's very easy to put the blame on Iran. Iran is not a very attractive country to the world. And the masses are very happy to accept whatever they're told. Now, if they're told by Mr. Netanyahu, who has stolen from America, who has he was in a smuggling, nuclear smuggling ring in the 80s and 90s, and FBI files show that, if they choose to believe him and believe that um, he's pointing the finger at Iran, well, then that shows their naivete. But for me, it's very hard to accept that Iran would willingly have the world condemn it and um, cater to the wishes of the Israelis by providing them with an excuse to attack. Uh, finally, briefly, how, how far do you think the U.S. would go to support uh, Israel uh, in such uh, action, possible action against Iran? 
What I'm afraid of, uh, United States cannot afford to go to war with Iran. It does not want to go to war with Iran. What I'm afraid of is some conflict that might come about as a result of, again, as a false flag, or as we witness in the Persian Gulf with the Indian boat, um, that it, it, something might be triggered either accidentally or a false flag by the Israelis push America into war that will really have more than just regional consequences. It will become global. All right. Sarah, Sapapur, Ulrich, thanks for your time. Thank you.